Welcome to another episode of the Bottom of the Stream Movie Show. My name is Adam. My name's Nick. I ahoyed so far, it's pushed my chair back. You have. You've rolled away from the mic. Roll back. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm back. Cool. Welcome. I've done that bit. How are you, Nick? Great. Ready to deal with some old people? Yes. Me too. Why are we going to be dealing with old people? Because Robin the Randomizer selected for us this week on the Bottom of the Stream Movie Show, which is world famous. Uh, a Netflix movie. Yeah. A horror movie. A brand new movie. A little baby just born movie. It's the newest movie we've ever done from the big inception of this show. <laughs> As in from the day t- it came out to when we're doing it. Sure. It's the newest movie we've ever done. Ironic Which... that it is a little baby movie. Because <laughs> it's full of old people. Old people. It is indeed. Do you know why? It's because it's called Old People. <laughs> it came out in the on the 5th of October 2022. Wow. Yeah, so only, what, six weeks away? It's a 15. It runs for one hour and 41 minutes. It's currently rated at 5.0 out of 10 on IMDb and is a Netflix original. 5.0. Thoughts. Mid. Dead mid. Yeah. Dead right in the middle. (laughs) Literally couldn't be more in the middle. No. (laughs) No. I don't want to give too much. I no, d- let's not. Let's Look. let's not give anything away. Yes. I, I, let's just suffice to say, this movie is exactly what I expected it to be, and also exactly not what I expected it to be. It has some memorable moments in it, and I wonder if they may not be to everyone's taste. Yeah. Which may affect the rating. Maybe on IMDb. Plus, possibly. A lot of people would watch this type of movie and then think that was rubbish. But not going in expecting it to be what it is. Because this movie's not a 5.0 movie. This should, should be higher, in my opinion. But we'll I get to that. I don't disagree. We'll get to that. With that. I've written down four members of the cast in this movie. However, I'm not sh- quite sure if they're the four members of the cast that I should have written down. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody's cast as a, a name. Or well, some people are, but not many people are. Yeah. So I've got Adolfo Asor, who plays Reinka, who was the main old man. Oh, was he? Yes. Okay. Because he, he hasn't got a name through he's, this. He's named in the first scene. Oh, is he? When the nurse comes in, she's calling for his, she's calling for him as Mr. Reinker. Oh. Um, and then he comes out and we'll, you'll find out what he does to her. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, but he's credited as, as Reinker. There's then a guy in it called Gerard Boss, who is credited as the old man. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of old men in this film. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay, fine. Um, but mainly this movie stars a lady called Malika For- Foratan. She plays Ella, who is the main young female character in this film. She's the mother. She's the mother of the family, yeah. yes. She's Iranian. Oh, really? And this movie's German. We haven't mentioned that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, I think it was made in Poland, okay. but it's a German movie. Uh, but yeah, she's Iranian. It's actually a third Netflix original that she's been in. Oh. So she's uh, a bit of a Netflix babe. Uh, she's in The Empress. <laughs> have you heard of that <laughs> no. are you laughing at it because i said netflix babe yeah i just i didn't mean it like babe she's hot i meant like baby netflix she loves netflix <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing so much i just wasn't expecting you to say like like <laughs> this chick who's in no that's not what i meant <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's really... not what i meant <laughs> you meant <laughs> a netflix regular yes that's what yeah Shut up. She's in The Empress. Have you heard of The Empress? I don't know. I'm completely She's also lost. in Tribes of Europa. Have you heard of I've that? I've heard of that. She's in that. Okay. Uh, written and directed by the same guy, Andy Fescher. Wrote and directed it. Again, these people are all German, so unless you went into German cinema, you're not going to know anything about them, I don't think. Okay. Um, do you want to know what IMDb estimates the budget of this movie to be? Yep. You know, because IMDb did this thing where they're like, estimated budgets. Because so they don't know. They just guess. Exactly, yeah. They've gone for five euros. Oh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> I assume they mean... All, all, all I'm saying is they made that money go along. <laughs> if that's true, they've done a really good job here. <laughs> uh, I assume they're meaning five million, but they've written five euros. It made me laugh when I read it. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Do you have a one-word review of old people? Nanageddon. It's <laughs> Why is this film not called that? Because <laughs> that's from the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> it's still but, better. But, but this is like... If someone made that seriously. Yeah. <laughs> that episode. Nanaked. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is about psychopathic murdering old people. 
What? Somebody's had an idea. It's like, I'm going to make a zombie movie, but they're all going to be really old. And then it's just developed is what's happening. It's not a zombie. It's, it's te- not a zombie movie, but the original. Technically, it's like goat. Well, it's not goat. It's, 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 it's possession. possession. It's possession. Isn't it? But that's progressed. Like somebody's gone, let's make a zombie movie where the, all the zombies are old. Yeah. And then the, the, only the script has progressed. Yeah. yeah. Because it's such a fucking great idea. <laughs> it really is. I was going to say to you, let's recast a Hollywood version of it. But I think you did that in The Wave this in week. The, when we played our game. When we played the game in yeah. The Wave. So go back and listen to that. because I'd, that... Have, I'd add a few extras. Go on. I'd, I want Dick, Dick Van Dyke in there. Yeah. King of the old people. Um, are there any, any of the big ones you missed? I mean, how old is old? How old do you have to be? Uh, over 70. Okay. De Niro? Yeah. Angela Lansbury would have been great, but she's dead now. Uh, Rest in peace. I mean... <laughs> Do you have to? It, does di- being dead disqualify you? Well, you can't make a movie <laughs> <laughs> if you're dead. Well, no, I suppose you can't be in it if you're dead, can you? No. Yeah, that would be tough. Um, yeah, she would have been good for that. <laughs> <laughs> Judy Dench. Yeah. Who was in the game, but like, given how gobsmacked how you were, she would be, how old she was, maybe she'd be like the queen. The queen of the old people. She's always playing queens, so. <laughs> She loves the royal. Who's like the She'd oldest be. working person in Hollywood? Who's that um, guy that was in? He was in like six hundred odd movies. He's ninety something. Oh, James Hong. James Hong. Yeah, let's have him 100%. in there. Who didn't we have a really old lady? I feel like we've <laughs> talked about really old ladies before. Who was in? Oh, who popped up in one of these movies, and we, it turned out she'd been working for. Oh. Yes, we did. We, we did. talked about her. I can't yeah, remember we her did. Name. Wasn't the 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 girl, the lady from the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, still alive? I'm uh, working. There was no. It was the so the main lady's like handmaid. Yeah. I'd seen her in a movie. Ah, oh, okay. Like sixty years late after that movie, right? Um, yeah, except maybe he's like 89 years old. There's not, there's not going to be any cast members still going. I mean, according to... <laughs> I'm sure a completely reputable website, <laughs> oldest.org, <laughs> they, they have a list of the top 10 oldest living actors. Okay. Updated 2022. So I just go straight to the top? Yeah. Who's the oldest? We're absolutely winging this. Um <laughs> Because usually we plan our... <laughs> Do we? Plan our... <laughs> we never plan anything. Oh, it's already out of date. I know one of these is dead. Oh, okay. Leslie Phillips. He died like last week, didn't he? Or a couple of weeks Did ago. He? Yeah. Leslie Phillips died. I yeah, don't remember yeah. who he did that. Uh, he would have been... He was 98. Oh, okay. Um, that says as of October. That was last month. Wow. Um, he must have died just after they uh, released that. Okay, we'll go, we'll go straight to number one. As of October 2022. Uh, it's a lady. Yeah. Uh, named Branka Veselinovich. Okay. Who was, uh, is an Austrian actress who has uh, been working since 1938. Oh my goodness. In 1938, she was 20. What? She was born in 1918. She is 104 years old. Wow. Is she still working? Uh, or we can bring yes. her out of retirement. Yeah. Is there anybody on that list that we would have heard of? Uh, like random and Austrian. <laughs> have a quick look. Um, ah, Mike Nussbaum, who was in Field of Dreams and Men in Black. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is 98 years old. Okay. Let's get him in. Um, he was in, he won awards in Glengarry Glen Ross in the 80s. I've seen that movie. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, yeah, Leslie Phillips is number four. Wow, he just died. Just died a couple of weeks ago. There you go. He was like, it was he in Carry Ons. He was, yeah. When you said Leslie Phillips, and I said I didn't know he died, I thought you meant Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Nielsen was dead like ten years. Yeah. <laughs> um, Eva Marie Saint okay. is still alive. Uh, she was famous for she was in On the Waterfront with Mar- Marlon Brando. Uh, she is ninety eight as well. Cool. Shall we start talking about this movie now? Yeah, probably should, shouldn't we? <laughs> but they'd all be great in this remake. They, they would, yeah. Let's put, put them all in this. Let's all get Hollywood on this. Hollywood. Remember like, when they made Red? Yes. And it was like a 
a band of old people. Let's do that. Let's an ensemble cast of old people and make this movie. Yeah. Uh, where does this film start, Nick? Uh, second week in a row. I've got to read some words. There's words on the screen. Yeah. I've got them. Do you want but, them? But I like these words because one of the words in these words was the word your. <laughs> yes, indeed. In days of. Do you want me to read them out? Yes, please. Uh, this is the only sort of exposition you're getting in this entire movie. So pay attention right now. Um, in terms of in times of yore, an avenging spirit was fought to inhabit old people. A dark power that took possession of the frailest members of the clan and drove them into a seemingly blind rage. That is your entire exposition for this movie. Yeah. You're not told what it is. You're not told where it's come from. You are not told any sort of history of what it does or why it's doing it that you just have to accept that as yeah. fact which i am fully okay with i'm prepared to do that i have no issue with it um when we cut into the actual movie from the words on the screen we meet an old man who is listening to the weather report on his little radio i think he'd call it a wireless i probably would call it a wireless wouldn't he <laughs> <laughs> it's Fucking pissing it down. It's raining like hell. <laughs> but the weather is saying, get ready, people, because it is going to be hot, hot, hot. It is going to be hot, hot, hot. But it, at the minute, it is not, not, not. Uh, indeed. And he's in his flat. Yeah, little. Which, like, like. Apartment have, block. Yeah, but I, I get the feeling this is like a self sufficient. Yeah, like not an old person's apartment. home, but like where, where old people live. And. Outside, a car arrives, and it's a, it's a girl in a scrub. So it's a carer. Yeah, she's a carer. Visit, she's visiting. Yeah. She's come to make sure he's okay, get him his dinner, whatever. And she says, I think, on the phone, well, yeah, I'm, I'm back at wherever. The whole building is full of yeah old people. So she goes up to his door. She notes when she gets there, his door is open, Yeah, which is worrying for her. But she walks in anyway. She puts some gloves on, and he's not there. He's, she's checking all the rooms. She's shouting his name, which is Renka. Mr. Renka, Mr. Renka, where are you? And he isn't there. Um... It doesn't look like he's been there for a long time. The uh, the place is a mess. It doesn't look she like anybody. She finds like been there an, a, a shrine. Yes, she does like a, a little shrine. A creepy old shrine to mm. with like ye olde paintings of 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 like a an old person reaching out to a young person. Yeah. Do you think we're supposed to think that this guy has summoned this spirit and caused all this mess? I think he has. Yeah, he's my, in charge definitely. He's, yeah, my reading is that he is deliberately, you know, because. He is, whether he's suffering or whatever in his old age, he's deliberately called upon this demon spirit. or spirit or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, um, why is there a shrine with all this? Yeah. But because it's literally an old spell book, it yeah. looks like. Yeah, it looks the, like it. On the table. Um, eventually, well, she's in the kitchen at this point. Everything's got mouldy in the kitchen. It's yep. like she's not a regular nurse, I don't think. No. So, no. It doesn't look like anybody's been there for a long time. So she's in the kitchen. He walks in behind her and he's just saying help over and over again. Yeah. He wants her help. And then suddenly, when she goes to help him, he knocks her out with his oxygen bottle. Yeah, he does. Because he's got a face mask on. And then he bludgeons her to death with it. And I just want to point out, you know, I like watching these movies with a subtitle. Yeah. Uh, and well, this is German, so it has subtitles anyway. Yes. But as in subtitles for like sound effects and stuff. Because you always get some good descriptions a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know how the <laughs> the battering of this woman by this old man is described in a subtitle? Yes, please. So, so as he beats her with this oxygen bottle, all you get on the subtitle is meaty squelch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a meaty squelch, though. I wish the dub of this film, it wasn't that bad. It okay. was all right. It was cool. I've seen worse dubbings, put it that way. Um, yeah, he murders her with his oxygen bottle. Then he goes to the window and he opens the window and leans out and starts howling. Yeah, like a real like a guttural, guttural animalistic howl. Yeah. And the camera kind of pans away from his window and you can hear lots of people howling and the whole city's on fire. Yeah, like society is breaking society, down society is breaking down we're supposed to believe that this is affecting i believe the whole world as yeah. we find out later on the uh the people the old people have taken over and destroyed the world um yeah there's, there's like fires and you can hear sirens going off it's, it's things are not good in the world yeah and i wasn't quite 
show on a placement of this. So was it, was that the future, or was this the future that we're going into I now? Think, was yeah, it I don't current. I don't, yeah, I think so. I think he kind of no, because he was in a home. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure how the quite the timeline played out. No, no, unless it, it doesn't matter. It's unimportant. It's I'm not assume, important. It's not I'm important. assuming that the the main guy is this this same. It was this same guy. Wasn't I thought it? so. It was I did dark. as well. And he, got he is credited nice as the same name. So we're going to say it was. <laughs> I'm questioning myself now. Then somebody does like a voiceover straight out. This hits the title card from that point. Somebody does a voiceover and he says, "Looking back now, nobody knows what happened on those last hot days of summer." Yeah. So maybe we maybe so we are looking back. Before. Yeah, we yeah. are. Yeah, it must have been. And we meet a family in a car. So we've got a mother and a son and a daughter. Teenage daughter, preteen son, yeah, mother. Yes, that's that's the setup. And they get a call from an auntie. They're heading to the auntie's house because she's about to get married. Yes, and straight okay. away we get in in this com- these couple of conversations in the car. We're getting the setup. We're getting the context. It's done yeah. really well and it's done really efficiently. We know. We find out. Uh, teenage daughter is upset with mum they're a broken family mum left dad yes and she's angry about that, it angry yeah as teenage girls are but they are going back to visit this family yes because it's... they're they're all still in this country, country village yeah they the, yeah and the mother's left this village yeah with the two children so they're head, they've moved to the city but they're heading back to the country um, they're going to stay with the auntie in the family home yeah and it's a big farm. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, yeah, big family farmhouse. And the the son of the family is especially excited to see his grandpa, who he hasn't seen him for ages. Yeah. And just as he mentions the grandpa, the phone goes dead, which was quite ominous, but didn't come to anything. And then we cut to a farm. It's a different farm. Yeah. Um. This lady, we this lady we meet is called Kim. She has to go to work, and her husband says bye to her basically. And yes. We later find out that this is the father of the kids of the kids nice. and his new girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, she's a nurse. She works in a nursing home. So then the family arrive at the farmhouse. This is where we find out the sister's getting married. And this is their parent, par- parents. <laughs> this is their parents' house and where they grew up. This is where these two sisters It is. Grew it's up. the old family yeah. homestead. Yep. And the son reveals that he is aware of a secret underground tunnel that links this house to a cottage that's also in the grounds of this farm. Yeah. No, I wonder if that will come up later. <laughs> I've re- actually written that exact same thing. I've written, seems relevant news. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because he just came out of it out of nowhere. And it's like, okay, we're going to meet this tunnel at some point and then later on. Um, and Ella, who is the mother, she finds out at this point that her dad is actually in a retirement home. Yeah. Which her, she wasn't aware of. No, her sister uh, basically says, oh, well, he didn't want you to know. Yeah. Because you know, the last time you saw him, you fell out. Yeah, and you kind of haven't stayed in touch since she yeah. left. I don't know. It doesn't really explain how long it's been since she left. But no. it seems like some time had passed, maybe some years. Um, we also find at this point that this, the young boy is called Noah. He needs an inhaler. Again, seems like relevant information for yes, later on. could be, could be. <laughs> and I've written here, this is all just setting up info for later. Um, daughter has a male friend. Daughter's what, 15, 16? I would say so. Laura was yeah. her name. Yeah. Um, she has a male friend who lives in this town that she's obviously not seen for a while called sure. Alex. And they go on a boat trip together. They do. Um, they they kind of rekindle their, not, I don't want to say romance, but so there's, I wouldn't say summer there's, there's some chemistry between them. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, the family sort of say to her later on, oh, you've seen your boyfriend. Boy, so yeah. it's like. Yeah. Because she hasn't seen him for a while. She's not sneaking She's been forced yeah. to move away from this town. Um, then the dad shows up. Uh, Lucas, I think, was the dad's name. Uh, yes, I'm good with names on this episode. Yeah. I'm happy with myself. Uh, he shows up because uh, he's been also invited to this wedding, I guess. Um, and Ella, it's, it's like the whole town has been. This is yeah, a this big is, event. Yeah, this is a big in event. this village, isn't it? Yes. Um, Ella does not like the dad. This is made very clear straight away. Ella and Lucas are not on friendly terms. No, um, she's very frosty with him. It's a very awkward conversation when they have to speak to each other. Um, and this is where we find out that his wife works at the retirement home where her dad is. Correct. And she knows this because, again, it's a small town. She knows this girl anyway, this lady anyway. Yes. And they, they've crossed paths and Lucas says to Ella, oh, you're going to see grandpa at home. Say hello to Say Kim. Say hello to Kim. Uh, so they do. They go, 
<laughs> yes, knew you. <laughs> um, so they do. They decide to go and visit Grandpa at this retirement home. So Ella, her sister, and Noah, the young boy, yep. go to visit this the Grandpa in the retirement home. And this town is run down. Sure. Um, Time's left it behind. Time has left this town behind. There's no industry there anymore, somebody says at some point. Yeah. And the, the town's got old, basically. Everybody who lives there yeah. is now old. And it's not good in a film about psychotic old sure. people. <laughs> um, when they get to the old people's home or the retirement home... It's not really... It's, it looks like... I know this is to build atmosphere and stuff. And it, it, it works well. It, it's not an old people's home as you know it. It's, no, it, no, no, it's, no, no, no. It's like, oh... Uh, let's use this abandoned hospital. It does look like an, an abandoned for hospital. For an I think that's probably something. exactly well, Maybe it happened. is. Maybe. Um, yeah, it look, does look like an abandoned but hospital. But this place is rotting. Yeah, it's not... It's very underfunded, shall we say. <laughs> when they go in, it looks like it's been completely deserted. There's yes. nobody at the front desk. There's rotten food all over the yeah. floor. Nothing's clean. It looks... There's weeds growing up outside. It looks like nobody's been there for years. And they're like, what the hell's going on? And then we meet, there's only old people there. There's no, and I think there's many staff. That's what I find strange because they were all surprised. Yeah. But even Ella's sister was surprised. And I'm like, well, you, from what we've already been told, you come here to visit grandpa. Yeah. But, but, but I can go she? with, no, that's, that's it's artistic logic. She yeah, said she fine. did, yeah. but does she? Is yeah, yeah. the question I think they were asking. Um, and with, there's only old people. We haven't seen any staff yet. There are some old people like just sitting around doing nothing. And they are all. Creepy as fuck. <laughs> yes, they are. And that is on that is a, a conscious choice that this movie and its director make. Yeah. They're all, they're zoned out. They're, they're creeping around corners, peering around doors, yeah, shadows they're... following these people. They've around. been abandoned by the world and sure. they're just, sure. just being weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, one old man approaches Ella and, he's, and, she's, and, he's, and he calls by a different name. And he's like, save me, save me from this. And she's like, I don't think I am who you think I am. Sure. It's all very creepy and weird. Uh, um, there's an old woman in a bed. Yeah. Lying there. There's an old woman in a shower that's naked. Oh, and, yeah, like in The Shining. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they manage to eventually, they do track down Kim. There's two members of staff working, I think, yeah. at this point. And they do track down Kim. And she says, look, we're completely understaffed. We've got no staff. We've got no funding. Yeah. And the people we're in this town keep getting older. Yeah. And they're all moving in here now. And there's too many. There's not enough staff and too many old people. And some of them are, some, a lot, some of them are even restrained. Yeah, some of them are having to be tied down because they Cause get out. And there's nobody to stop them getting yeah. out. Basically. Or, or they're a danger to themselves or yeah. the other residents. Yeah. Uh, non, no, Noah then wanders off on his own. Well, he follows the creepy man. Yeah, he does. But nobody notices that he's yeah. wandered off on his own. Or they allow him to wander off on his own. And eventually... I put, he walks through a hallway of death. <laughs> yeah, or very it's, near death. Because it's just a, all these silent old people staring at him. Or yeah, it's, it's cr- it he, is creepy. He's beckoned by who I've called lead creepy man. <laughs> but it's it's this Reinker, Reinker yeah. guy. And eventually he does find what he's looking for. He finds his grandpa. Um, the grandpa obviously doesn't recognise him. No, he's, he's not kind responsive. of just he's non-responsive, sitting in a chair in this room, just gazes out. Um, <laughs> I've written it: the scary old people everywhere. Um, and Ella, Ella comes in. She finds Noah. She finds her dad, and she's like, oh, "I should have come here a long time ago." Yeah, she's and she kind also of regretting her life choices. Doesn't get a response from her father. No, she doesn't. And then I didn't know how to describe this in my notes, but Reinker is sat at the back of this room. Yeah. And I, I just put, he eats cake at Noah. He does. He <laughs> threateningly eats cake at the child. Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of stares him down whilst eating this cake. Yeah. It's very creepy. And all sort of, his mouth overflows with cake. Yeah, it's disgusting. And just dribbles down his chin. Yeah. Uh, what this, a presence this guy was. He's great, isn't he? He was, he's, from looking at his IMDb, he's quite a famous German actor. He's yeah. been in loads of stuff. He was born in 1945, so that makes him, what, nearly 80? Yeah. He looked nearly 290. <laughs> they, they've either made him up to look really old or he is really, or he looks really old anyway. Uh, but yeah, he was, he was, uh, he has no lines really in this film. He caught a couple later on. It's, it's a, cu- a few words. Yeah, but his, his, his screen presence line. is yeah. intimidating. For yeah. Such an old man. Yeah. Um, we cut back then to Laura and Alex. Um, I think they'd gone to a des- over in a deserted island. Because they'd got they'd landed their boat somewhere, yeah. but I don't know if it was an island now. Because whether it was she on has a to lake run there later or on. I, they are. Oh yeah, they do. That's yeah. true. 
so it quite weird. So made, they must they have made it out like it was, yeah, they the must coast. have gone around a coast or a bay yeah. or something. But it made it out like it was a deserted island. And Alex is showing this monument to the ghosts of their ancestors that apparently has been there for two thousand years. Yeah, it's a creepy skull monument in yeah. the middle of a clearing in the woods. And um, he he kind of takes some of the grass away from it, and right down at the bottom of this monument, there it says E and L in a heart, which is obviously. Ella and Lucas, their her mum and dad, yeah. graffitied this 2,000-year-old monument when they were children, or teen lovers. Um, so she's quite happy with that. She's like, oh, they did love each other at one point. Alex says he wants, he's ready to leave. He's done with this shitty town, is what he calls yeah. it. I'm done with this shitty town. He wants to go back to the city with her. Um, he wants to live with Laura, who's 15, maybe. He's no, not much older himself. No, he's, he's a similar age, yeah, yeah. I would say. Then this wedding that we're been building up to all the way through this film briefly happens it, in it does. It half kind of happens a scene in the background <laughs> yeah because it? it's, it's we've been building it up for so long that it's it's quite surprising when nothing uh, we don't see any of it so we, it basically just goes to straight cuts straight to the party that's happening afterwards and all the old people are kind of just watching they're gathered like moths to a flame yeah the, around some the are window. Just, some are just around the windows. Because they can or... hear the music floating through the yeah. trees. Yeah, but there's also people who live in the town are just standing at windows yes, watching. Yes, so it's not just the people in the old people's no, it's home. It's, the people it's who anyone live, who's live old. In, yeah, it's kind of just watching. Yeah. So strange. Um, and it's really worth pointing out, if, if you've not watched this movie, you know, this is... Every time you see a group of older people together, it's really the sense of foreboding. It's very atmospheric. Yeah, this definitely, movie. very atmospheric. And it's not. It's not treated the, with any sort the of creep factor. Is high. Yeah, because it feels like this should be like tongue in cheek. This is quite a funny concept, but it's not treated it's like, not that, at like that at all. It's not played like this. These old people are scary, man. Some of them are anyway. Yeah, it's creepy. It's definitely creepy. Um. Ella and Lucas at the wedding reception have another awkward chat. Um, but then Noah and Laura... It's just to basically show us that the the crux of their relationship breaking down was that he wanted to stay in the country. Yeah. She uh, needed to With the out. family farm, I guess. Yeah. And, and she, as Alex put it in the previous scene, wanted to get out of this shithole. Yeah. Basically. Um, then Noah and Laura grabbed them because they have a family song. Yeah. And this is they, the song we dance to. Yeah, this is the song we dance to as a family. And they do. They dance to the, to this song as a family. Nobody else is really dancing either. It's really weird. Yeah. And the, But Kim is there also. She's like, she oh, is, that's not my family. That's I'm not my family, sad. but that is my boyfriend. Yeah. And she is kind of staring daggers through them. She she does not look happy. So it kind of, And Ella notices this and she kind of breaks this dance she just up. Stops she's like, when she's yeah, she's like, that, okay, Kim's, Kim's not happy. Yeah. Lucas goes over to her. And they kind of have a bit of a chat, and it's all sorted out. Uh, back at the back at the old people's home, the old people, like you said a minute ago, are gathered around a window because they can hear the sound of the party. Yeah, and it's like they're like like you said, moths to a flame. It's really weird. Um, and a male nurse comes in. We meet a male nurse for the first time. I know this is only, only a minor character, so this is very much a nitpick. <laughs> but this guy was very tropey. This night porter. This. <laughs> He was like Ben Stiller in Happy Gilmore. Like, <laughs> Shut up, Grandma. Yeah, he doesn't. That's a, you the, can't have any fun. Of, the stereotype, stereotypical nurse in an yeah. old people's home. He doesn't like old people. Yeah, he's like he. Um, he tells them to basically get away. He says, "Oh, window. enjoying the music, are you? Yes. Well, I'll just shut, shut this, this window. window." And then he's like, "Time for bed, old people." Yeah. I think that's what he says. And then a female nurse is also on duty, and she can she's kind of walking towards the basement because she can hear crying. Yeah, yeah there's, there's so she can hear like a noise coming from the basement. So she goes downstairs, and when she gets down there, there's a. I didn't like this. This but was, I liked it because I didn't like it. It was weird, wasn't it? it this me bit. Out. <laughs> so she gets down there. It's the dark basement. There's a boiler. It's a boiler room. Yeah, yeah. There's electrical cables and stuff. And um, there's an old lady sitting down there in a nighty. With an electric cable in her mouth. She's like gnawing at it like she's a like, rat. Yeah, like she's a rat. And eventually, she bites through it yeah. and electrocutes herself. Why this female nurse is watching and trying to beg her to stop biting on the electrical cable? And all the lights go out in the whole place. And this yeah, old lady, she, obviously... She, she, this old lady is like suddenly deep fried and crispy. Yeah, she's. it doesn't end well for this old lady. And 
the, all the lights so all the lights go out so we're upstairs where this male nurse has just antagonized all the other old people the room's now pitch dark yeah and another old lady approaches him and she's like can we please stay up like yes to him and i was like this is this is horrible at this point i'm like i don't like this and then she bites him she does she grabs him and bites him and so he throws her off and she ends up going backwards through a glass table it's a movie table it's a movie table always one of these around um and then they all kind of they pick up shards pick up shards of glass in their bare hands and attack him with it yeah and he can't fight them off. It's a zo- this is a zombie movie scene. There's, the, there's so many... He's being overpowered because by the numbers more than the they strength. They notably do not kill him. No, they don't. They, he, you, and, and they again, stab him in the, strategic places. The sound yeah. is horrific. You know, there's gurgling. He's drowning. Yeah. And they drag him off. Yeah, they just... Whatever they're going to do to him. Do um, Renka then finds this female well the female one she's kind of come up from the basement and yeah. she's getting surrounded by loads of weird crazy old people yeah. as well and then raker finds her and he eventually he clubs her to death with a pipe he just batters her around the head with it and kills her and then they they do they kind of drag the bodies away never to be seen again yeah we never see these two people again and Reinker's kind of what he's kind of walking around the place like he's a zombie, but he's not. He's completely compass. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's in charge of this thing, and he finds the wedding invite that's been stuck on the window that Kim obviously was Kim's, and then he just leaves. He goes out. He walks out the front door of the hospital, and it's a great shot. Oh yeah, yeah. It pans up, from, pans floor up from the level, floor level, up and the you stairs, see him standing in the doorway of this hospital, yeah. and then he he kind of just starts howling again, doesn't he? Yeah. It? It's really strange. Um, I was look that this this scene where they take out the nurses yeah was proper horror movie shit i thought it was excellent mm. it was unnerving it really was it was brutal it was gory but but for me the 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 and it was all in the anticipation for yeah. me because you knew it was you, coming you're like this is it's starting here yeah. and, and you know we said before if, if i like if i'm gonna like a horror film i it is that sort. Of, I am more into like the the creepiness, the forebodingness, Same. rather than the gore and yeah. the jumpiness of it. And and look, there's a bit I, of I gore in this film, but there's good. there's not an awful lot of it. No, there is a bit of it. No. But there's, right, there's not, we'll get to isn't... it soon. There's quite a bit of fluid that's not necessary <laughs> blood. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> right, where do we get to? Oh, just as we cut away from that scene, the party's kind of breaking up back at the house. People are leaving. People are getting in their cars and going home. Um, it's raining. Yeah. Even though it said it was going to be a lovely day. It yeah, but summer raining, storms. But yeah. End of a happens, hot day. Doesn't it? Um, and eventually everybody's gone except for Ella and the two kids. They're staying at the house. The newlywed couple are staying in the cottage that's on the property. Yeah, they're, they're kind was, of like, I wouldn't say summer house, but that's doing it a disservice. Yeah, it's, 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 a, like a, it's a full-on house. Yeah. tree house cottage yeah. type thing. Which we found out earlier is obviously linked to the other house by an underground tunnel. Yep, remember that. Remember that. Um. So the bride and groom are staying in there for their wedding night and the family are staying in the main house. Ella puts Noah to bed. Yeah. Uh, we see Grandpa, he's in bed. Yeah. Uh, and yes, as you say, uh, Sana is Ella's sister and Malik, her new husband, they are off to the guest house Absolutely. to do what newlyweds do. We briefly have a scene with Kim and Lucas where she questions his love for Ella. Does she, do you still love him? And uh, Do you still love her? And, she yeah. says, and he says, no, uh, it's over. And... I've written here the newlyweds go back to the cottage cannon fodder these two because <laughs> they've barely been in it and I'm like these two are going to die very soon I put they put on sexy music they're going to consummate that shit and they do they consummate the shit out of that <laughs> um, whilst they're in the middle of uh, consummation the front door opens slowly and as the front door opens it blows all the candles out yeah. which is a really nice shot as well I really like that um, and it's Ranka right I'm going to praise this scene as well go on because it Again, it's all about the build-up and the atmosphere. They, it, they, it really slows down here, and we look. He's, a, he's a possessed old person. Yeah. But he is still old. Yeah. So he moves slowly. Yeah. He puts his hand on an axe. I loved uh, that. I thought it was great touch. And he's like, right, he's gonna. He's gonna pick up an axe. Yeah. And he walks past it. Can't lift it. Takes his shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> And his socks. Takes his socks off so very slowly because he's an old person. He's got horrible feet. Yeah. And he unscrews from like an old bedstead yeah. a heavy 
Bed knob. Bed knob. <laughs> it's the only word for it. It's a round, gold, cylindrical ball. Yeah. Of weighty. It seems weighty. Yeah. And he puts it in his sock. Yeah. And I'm like, Holy That's shit. more vicious than an axe. Definitely. And he wouldn't be able to swing an axe. And he knows this. And I was like, okay, this film's going places now. I'm intrigued. And but the details, like when he takes that sock off and, his, and the flesh is yeah, the, falling the, off the, his foot. Yeah, it's like a proper old person's foot. Yeah, and he's all gloopy and... Yeah. <laughs> Briefly, we go back to Lucas and Kim. They've just got home to there, wherever they live. This is the next farm. The along, next farm along. It, it's... Of. I've written it's frosty between the two of them. They're not in a good way. Yeah. They've obviously had an argument. Uh, the rain's kind of stopped and you've got like the mist misty, coming up off yeah. the ground. I feel like it's quite late at night. Yeah. Um, and when they get out of the car, there's an old man standing in a field watching them. Yeah, he's in his like nightgown. Uh, yeah. One of these hospital gowns done yeah. up at the back. And Lucas even says to it, is he from the home? And Kim's like, yeah, I recognise that guy. Yeah. And then he just walks off and they let him go. Uh, because... All of a sudden, they hear an explosion in the distance yeah. and like sirens and noises and screaming. They can hear screaming. So they're like, shit, something's just gone down. We need to get something's back in our car. in the village. In the village. We need yeah. to get back in our car and go and help because she's a nurse. Yeah. Um, then we cut back to the bridal suite. Um, and what was the bride's name? I didn't catch her name. Sana. Sana. She kind of opens her eyes mid naughty and looks up and she... Makes eye contact with Reinke. Yeah. And he just swings that sock and batters the groom's head in. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> the groom's down south. Yeah. And he he just gets... He didn't know much about what was happening no. to him at this point. He, he gets just, his head gets bludgeoned in by this to death. ball in a sock. Uh, there's more meaty squelching. Yeah. <laughs> she gets up screaming, runs to the top of the stairs... And it might be my favourite shot of the movie. He just launches this ball in, its, ball in a sock at her head. It clocks her on the head and she falls down the stairs. And it's the fall down the stairs that does for her. Yeah. Because again, this, I'll praise the sound effects again. There's some horrible cracking noises as she hits the bottom of yeah, the she, stairs. Yeah, she goes flying down the stairs. She isn't dead when she gets to the bottom. But she ain't she's, moving. She's not in a good way. So he makes his way down uh, to her. And Oh, I just missed one. I can't, does it happen now? Yeah, no, we just miss it. So after he's beaten Malik to death as well, he kind of looms over her in bed and like spews. Oh yeah, he throws up on her. Gunk all over her. <laughs> yeah, it was rank. Oh, it's vile. <laughs> it's rank. That's what gets her up and screaming. Yeah. She runs to the top of the stairs. He, bat- he throws the ball at her. Great shot straight to the middle of the forehead. She goes down the stairs. He follows her down the stairs, finishes her off in a, he breaks her neck. Way. He breaks her neck, yeah. Well, he kind of puts his hand over her yeah. mouth and there's a, there's another he chokes crack. her out and there's another crack. And, but again, that that's not the worst of it. He then drags the body back upstairs. Yeah. In to this, do even though we've just off. been shown that he hasn't really got a lot of strength, yeah. he does manage to drag her body back upstairs. Uh, but yeah, we don't I, know what I, he's going to do to her. I thought this was horrific. It was. It was so scary. <laughs> it was like, okay, this old man is terrifying. Um, then commotion wakes up ella back in the main house yeah um the lights are not working she because this is a horror movie lights never work in a horror movie she goes out to see if she can figure out what's going on she heads downstairs she checks on noah noah's in bed she checks on laura laura's not in bed yeah so she heads downstairs and she's downstairs laura's just kind of looking out the window downstairs she's like frozen frozen and she's like there's lots of old people outside and, and Ella's like, what? Gave me, even that line gave me the chill. Yeah, it did. Like, by this point, I'm just like, fuck. I am fuck, fully this, in on this. Yeah, but this is also, just... this is actually a lot scarier than I was yeah. expecting. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting a lot more tongue in cheek, a lot more humour in this film. No, this but is it's not. They've gone for. They've gone for full on creepy creeps. old people. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, there's a lot of old people outside. And Ella's like, what? What do you mean? And she's like, do you mean people from the party? And Laura's like, no, have a look outside. And she does. But when Ella looks out, she can't really see anybody. No. So everybody's kind of disappeared. And then... And you've still got this mist sort of rising off the fields as well. Yeah. So so I feel like, like it's like pre-dawn. It's, it feels like it's probably, what, three, well, four no, o'clock just, in the morning? Just remember, you, so you've had a hot day. Yeah. Then you've had this rainstorm. And it's just... It's, it's just, just... Yeah. It's, it feels like... still warm. And yeah. you've got all this... It's really ominous. Mist rising. And then... A piano starts playing from behind them. A single note. A single note. Over and, and over. 
he they look around and it's their grandpa. Yeah, he's out of bed. And he's out of bed. He's sitting at the piano. And then he, do, he starts playing some ominous music. Yeah. Horror movie music, I would call it. And yeah, that was really creepy. Sure. So I'm like, this feels like... You, know, you kind of got the gauge of the grandpa character at this point because you're like, he feels like he's possessed too, but he doesn't want to harm his I family. got the feeling that he was... Because he can't talk. Yeah. He is, he's trying to... He's trying to he warn them. He was trying them. to warn them yeah. that something was happening. Because he knew something was happening. Yeah. Uh, Kim and Lucas have headed back into town and have found a car accident. There's corpses. There's bodies everywhere. There's cars, smashed up cars everywhere. Um, and then some... Oh, he's, Lucas, Lucas sees a murder. He sees a murder happen by a load of old people. Yeah. And they start running at him. Like, full on running, one of them is. Yeah. So he dives back in the car, tells Kim to get back in the car, and they speed off. Uh, Grandpa stops playing the piano, and the minute he stops playing the piano, there's a knock at the door. Yeah. And when Ella answers it, there's nobody there. But she goes outside. They go out to investigate. Her and Laura both go out. And it's the old man from earlier who thought she was somebody else who was yeah. saying, save me. Yeah. He's just standing in the garden. And Ella goes he's to He's got a Bible. He's got a Bible. Ella's like, well, this is weird. I'm going to see if he's okay. Because yeah. she doesn't know what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on at this point. Um, Laura, meanwhile, she goes to look the other way. And she finds an old lady in a bush. <laughs> And she's, again, very rat. The old ladies in this film are like rats. She, like, exorcist style, kind of is on all C- fours. Crawls runs, backwards. Yeah. Runs off into the shrubbery. Like a rat. Yeah. The old ladies are like rats in this movie. It's weird. And and the, the old guy rips a page out of this Bible. Yeah. Gives it to Hannah. And it says on it, thou shalt honour the old. Yeah. Creepy. Yeah. So Ella says, Laura, go and... Lock yourself in the house. Yeah. Get Noah. Make sure he's okay. Lock all the doors. Lock all the doors. I'm going to nip over to the cottage, make sure these two are all right. Yeah. And uh, we'll go from there. So Ella bombs it over the garden to the cottage. When we briefly cut back to the grandpa, who's kind of, he picks up a family photo and he's kind of looking at it as if to say, I'm going to save these people. Yeah. We feel like there's a glimmer, got to some have, sort of glimmer, there's glimmer of, of something in his eyes. There, yeah. You've got to have a the old person who's good, I guess. Yeah, that's, or immune to this. I don't think he's immune to it. I think he's just fighting it. Yeah, I think so. And um, yeah. I think that's what they're trying to tell you. Um, Ella goes to the cottage, notices the doors are locked, uh, heads upstairs, and opens. It's like we a, didn't really see this detail. No, the we did first didn't. time around. But now we're seeing it as she enters the room. It's a four post of bed. Yeah, there's four post of bed. All the curtains are drawn. Yes, she doesn't shout them. Because they could have been doing it for all she knew. <laughs> she didn't shout them to say, well, it hello. It was definitely quiet in there. Hello. Yeah, it was definitely quiet. Uh, she pulls back the curtain and finds the bodies of her uh, sister and well, he's moved new brother-in-law. Them. They're like, he's put them into like a tableau. He's, yeah, they're like hugging, kind of hugging. Yeah. The bride, contorted. the sister's naked. Yeah. No, she wasn't earlier. She was in a wedding dress still. And Ella opens her mouth and there's something in her mouth. So she's like, what's that? So she pulls it out and it's the sock. Yeah. It's... The old man's dirty sock's been stuffed in her mouth. Yeah. So Ranker's left her in a bit of a state. She turns round. <laughs> oh, this bit creeps me out. He's fucking standing in the, the corner of the bed. There was an old lady sitting in the chair as well. Yeah, there was. Yeah, That's, yeah. She creeped me yeah. out. There was no... She turned around. She first thing she sees is an old lady sitting in a chair. Yeah. So she turns back and Ranker's like standing on the bed. And he attacks. He goes yeah. for her. There's, a lot, there's now lots of old people outside. So we see them. And she manages to escape. She jumps out of the escape window. Escape slash stumbles out of the window. <laughs> yeah, she, she? She, she's like, I can't get downstairs. There's old people everywhere. So she jumps out of the window and manages to survive. And just as she's running back to the main house, Lucas and Kim pull up in their car. Yeah. Because they're like, some shit's going down here. We need to go make sure the kids are okay, I guess. So she runs to them. Um... Then there's a really cool camera flip. Yeah. So because because Ella, just a great shot. Ella kind of stumbles into the arms of Lucas and Kim. Yeah. So she's kind of on the ground, but then the camera sort of three sixties round. Yeah. So and we see the old people upside, upside down, down, just coming out Run, of the mist, coming running towards the house. Yeah. That that old that upside down shot she's in a lot of horror movies at the yeah. minute, and it is becoming a bit of a horror movie trope, but it really worked in this situation yeah because it was weird um they so they all lucas and kim and ella run into the house barricade themselves in the house um laura lets them in because obviously she'd like the door um and laura ella's like where's noah and 
he's gone. He's not in his bed. Yeah, Laura's not good. checked up on him. No, I thought she had. Oh, oh no, she was very panicked. So I don't. She know was because she, she was trying to get or... Alex. She was like, I need to go to Alex. Yeah. I need to find sure Alex is okay. But she had neglected to check on her brother. Um. So is the grandpa. He's also now not sitting at the piano. We don't know where he's gone. So Ella's like, I know where there's a gun in this house. She yeah. goes into the library, and she throws it's a few like old a books book. on the floor. Yeah, and there's a there's a gun inside yeah. her old book. Uh, so she grabs a gun. Everyone else is like, oh, the f- how long when, we have that? <laughs> yeah, we did not know that was there. So And she goes back outside. She heads out the back door this time because the house is now surrounded by old people. And she points a gun at one of the old people and she's like, where is my child? Yeah. Um, she's, not, she's not messing around, this woman. Um, Lucas goes out after her with the immortal line, I'll be right back. Although he does end up coming back. Um, and Ella then knocks out her own dad. Grandpa's, grandpa's out there. Yeah. And she points the gun at him and she eventually, she pistol whips him and knocks him on the floor. Um, but then she hears, they both, Laura and, I'm getting all the names mixed up. Ella and Lucas are now outside. They hear a scream from inside. And go, so they run back in. And Reinke's in there with Laura and Kim. Yeah. And he kind of beckons in more. Because he's like, well, he brings in all the old people, doesn't he? He, gets he does, because there's a gap in the, in the he's smashed his way in through a pantry window. Yeah, so and he, he, the door's kind of open, so he beckons them in. And he goes for Laura. No, he goes for Kim Does first. he go for Kim first, sorry. Because this was, she sells Laura out. Yes, yes, you're right, she does. Because Ella hears screaming, so she goes back inside. And Laura's kind of being dragged away. And Kim says, she's not my daughter. Well, no, before that, when Reinke first goes to Kim, she he she looks him in the eyes and says, I've never done it. I've yeah. helped you. I, yeah, I've always been good to you. The I'm the nerd. Yeah. I've always looked after you. And then she sort of nods her nods head, her head over to Laura. Yeah. And then she says to she actually says to Ella, she's not my daughter. Yeah. So she's basically saying to Ella, Kim, Laura's mum, yeah. that she's sold her out. Um, Ella then actually fires the gun at one of the old people that's coming out and shoots one of them. And Lucas manages to beat one to death. Um, and that person that Lucas was beaten to death was begging to be saved. Yeah. But Lucas is beaten to death anyway. Um, there's, there's a, this is, I'm talking through this, but there's a massive commotion going on now. There's old people everywhere. Everybody's fighting everybody. There's all sorts of shit going on. Reinke eventually knocks out Ella, goes to have a fight with Lucas, and then Ella comes up behind him and knocks him out. Yeah, he's got a knife, so he like slashes at Yeah, Lucas, he slashes, so. slashes Lucas' chest open, doesn't he? Yeah, he knocks Laura out. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, Ella sort of jumps in, jumps from, in behind. from behind and knocks him out. And the family have a bit of a reunion. The kids are, the Laura and Lucas and the mum are back together anyway. Uh, Kim still looks jealous. She still doesn't look happy that this, even with all this that's going on, yeah. she's still jealous of Ella's and, Ella and Lucas's relationship. Yeah, they kind of barricade themselves in the kitchen, don't they? Yeah. And, they and they tie Reinke to the cooker. Yeah, tie him to the, the cooker handles. And they wake him up. He wakes up. And he spits right in Lucas's face. Yeah. It's grim. It was grim. Dirty old person phlegm. Um, but they, like, Lucas and Ella are both like, where is Noah? Where, and he's not answering them. He's not, like, going to tell them where he is. Yeah. Ella's not quite as polite as Lucas. She sticks a fork in him. She does. She stabs him with he's a fork. He's not even done. <laughs> uh, and then she pulls the gun on him. She points the gun right in his face. And he says to her, "This is his first, I think it's his first and yeah. only line of the movie. He has some lines, but he, he finishes it with, what do you see, a man or a beast? He says, just kill me. Yeah. I think, because it, again, it's his, it's a bit of a fight between the demon and the, the man. possession and the, 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 the man behind the possession. He actually says, you don't know what we've seen. Yeah. Do it. He wants to die, but then just as before she's about to kill him, Noah walks in. He's in the doorway. He's, He's like, in his doorway in his pajamas. Uh, it turns out the grandpa had come upstairs and taken Noah to the attic yeah. and locked him in the attic and told him to stay there. And then he went off to join the others, is what yeah. Noah says. Um, and then Noah instantly, he seemed all right at that point. Yeah, this is a bit like, Suddenly has oh, an asthma attack and passes out. We need something drama- more dramatic to happen. Uh, have an asthma attack on cue. Yes, so he does. He has an asthma attack. Remember, he needed an inhaler. He needed it earlier. He needs it again. Laura goes off and gets it. Um, and they save him, I guess, with his inhaler. But he's still a bit tired and unconscious. Um, so they're like, what we'll do, Lucas has this idea of, let's go to the living room and we'll just wait it out till morning. 
Yeah. And it'll all be fine in the morning. Um, and then we can get out of here. Once it gets light, we can get out of here. Um, but Kim, we can see in the background, is kind of planning something. She might as well be drumming her fingers together. I mean... She might as well have been doing this. <laughs> there's a, quite a few seconds where she just seems to have locked eyes with Reinka. And yeah. I was like, oh, is, is there some sort of passing of... Yeah. The, the, the possession happening, which I don't think it was. It wasn't that. It was just her he thinking was... she's got a way here to get yeah. rid of Ella, is basically. Yeah. She can get Ella out of her life at this point. She's she's going loco. <laughs> she is. Kim. Um... So then I got the impression, like, Ray could remember, is still tied to the oven. So I got the impression here that the old people needed a new leader because we get introduced now to a lady who's now wearing the wedding dress yeah. that's covered in blood. And she came, seems to have taken charge. Um, she approaches the house. She's got a real strut about her as if she's the lady in charge now. She's like his zombie bride. <laughs> yeah. And somebody whispers something in her ear. And then we cut to Laura. Laura's asleep. She's managed to drop off. Yeah. Of course she has. Uh, but she has a dream that Grandpa kills Noah with a hammer. Yeah. So that's quite a graphic scene. He basically beats the kid to death with a hammer. Um, she wakes up with a start. We find out the water also is off in the house now. Sure. As well as the electricity. Um, Kim tells Ella that she admires her for... Yeah, she follows her into the bathroom. Yeah, she's kind of like passive-aggressive complimenting her. Um and she says, Lucas still says your name in his sleep because you abandoned him. There was quite a clever misdirection here as well. Because when Ella goes to the bathroom, the camera lingers on the fact that she's left the gun on the table. Yeah. And then you see Kim follow her and you're like, if this was a normal sort of film that we watch, <laughs> Kim was taking the gun in there. Yeah. But it's a total misdirection. Yeah, it is. It's um, a, it's a MacGuffin. She doesn't use it. She doesn't. She she's completely lost her mind at this point. She's, oh yeah, yeah. She's yeah, completely she's gone. gone from je through jealousy more than anything else. Um, she says, "I even when you left, I even took care of your dad." Yeah. She's like, "Come on, give me something here." And then she says, "There was no problem with any of these old people till you got back." Yeah, this, this all started when yeah. you came back. She's blaming Ella for what's going on, um, and then Kim basically bashes Ella's head in. Again, the sound. She pops her on the head Smitty with this scrunch. flashlight. Yeah, she hits her with a flashlight and drags her outside to the porch and leaves Jeez her up. on the front porch unconscious. Uh, she's not unconscious for long. She wakes up quite quickly. She looks up and she can see all the old people are still out there. Yeah. But she can see Grandpa and he just puts his hand, finger to his mouth and he's like, shh. Yeah. But she doesn't shh. She makes a fuckload of noise and tries to get back in the house. Um, she screams. She's banging on the door. Um, Kim... Lucas is like, who's banging on the door? So he comes to investigate and Kim swallows the door key or tries she's to swallow the door key. She's just stood there key. with the key in her hand. Yeah. So it's not like she's tried to no. hide what she's no, doing. No, but then she, as soon as Lucas tries to grab it, she puts it in her mouth and tries yeah. to swallow it. Lucas grabs it out of her. Um, he manages to unlock the door. Um, he tries to drag Ella back in. She gets dragged away. They have a tug of war with Ella. I yeah. thought we were doing the whole... Uh, David in Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, me sort of, too. And... Dawn of the Dead pulled apart, yeah. guts everywhere. But that's not what happened. This is, in the film that I thought we were getting, that's what would have happened. Yeah. This isn't the film I thought we were getting. Uh, yes, yeah, so she gets dragged away. Uh, Lucas and Laura are now getting attacked through the door because there's all these old people trying to get in at the same time. Um, and Laura has this idea to get the fire extinguisher yeah. and blast all these old people in the face with yeah. the... Not with the fire extinguisher itself, with the Actually shit that comes set out it, of the Set it off. Set so. it off, yeah. Uh, um, but as she does this, which does um there's a lot happening here at Woods. yeah so it's, it's very chaotic so, so they're trying to cause this distraction so they can get ella back inside or at least shut the door lucas is holding the door open but he is also being stabbed yeah by attacked. the glass wielding old people noah's screaming his head off in the background it's all kicking off uh, and kim kind of just walks off yeah she walks upstairs on yeah. her own and she does not stop she walks upstairs she walks to the window and she just jumps out of it. Well, she basically falls out of this window. Yeah. In an apparent suicide bid, I guess. Suicide slash a hint of she's trying to help them. Do you think that's what it was? I, I had that well, impression as well, but I wasn't they, sure. She distracted the zombies and they went, the zombies, the old people, <laughs> and they all then the zombie movie. left Ella and went and devoured. Yeah, because the next time him. we see her, the old people have got Kim. She's very much battered and bruised because she yeah. just jumped out of a window. And they slice her throat in front of Lucas, yeah. which gives him the distraction to grab Ella and bring her back inside. But they don't manage to lock the door 
They right. overpower Lucas and they all get in the house. So they have to barricade themselves in like the next room. Yeah, the library. I call it the library. Yeah. There's books all over the wall. Um, but Lucas is not in a good state because, as I mentioned, he has been stabbed many times. He's been times. stabbed many, many times. Um, the old people then start a fire. Yeah. They grab some petrol from somewhere, yeah, pour it under the it's door fine. and start a fire. And Lucas then dies. Yeah. It's the end of sat Lucas. In chair, he okay. sat in a chair and just dies in front of his kid. And Laura kind of takes charge. Laura's like, we need to find this underground tunnel. Oh, remember that tunnel? <laughs> and fortunately, it's in the exact room that they're in. Yeah, I, it was a bit of uh, plot armor, wasn't it? But Ellen knew exact. She, Laura says, we need to find where this tunnel is. And Ellen knows exactly yeah. where it is. So she moves the desk out of the Which way. Which makes pulls sense, because she's, she's lived, lived there, there. for she, yeah. all her life. Um, she moves the desk out of the way, pulls the rug up. And they go into this tunnel. And while they're going into this tunnel, a load of flaming old people jump after them. They do. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, shit, this is getting real now. Um, and then there's a tunnel chase. Um, basically, Noah's in front, Laura's behind. Quite nice Ella's tunnels to start now. with. Yeah, it but starts then off it turns nice, into but... an actual just tunnel. Yeah, through mud the earth. tunnel through the earth. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Noah's leading the way. Ella, Laura's following. Ella's following Laura. Um, the kids manage to get away. Ella does not. Ella gets pulled back. Yeah. It was quite a creepy scene again. Was not expecting her to... No. To, to uh, go. Die. She's done. Yeah. So, and it's quite a creep because you can see it from her point of view in this mud tunnel and she just sort of gets dragged backwards. Yeah. And it's like, and that's the end of her. You never see her again. Uh, she says, I love you as she's getting dragged back. Uh, but the kids managed to get to the cottage. Um, Noah says, no, he can't breathe again. He's having yeah, he's, another he's, he's sick. Um, and, but then Laura's phone starts buzzing. She's had a phone on her the whole time. Yeah. No, but it wasn't. There was no yeah, signal. No, there was that no signal. Was there was no signal in the house. That, yeah. that was established. But when they got to the cottage, obviously there was some signal in the cottage, and a state of emergency is declared. One of these state of emergency texts has yeah. come through, or quite a few of them have come through, and also she's had some missed calls from Alex. Yeah. So she calls Alex back. He says she can't really hear him. It's all broken up. It's all. Uh, he's obviously running or being driven somewhere as well. But he, what he she says, does hear yeah, is she, the words. They both have enough of a broken conversation to work out both sets of their parents are dead yes and she hears the words go to the monument oh, i think they said go to the water but i thought no i'm sure he oh, says maybe. monument. yeah it's where they went earlier yeah. anyway um and then her phone dies um they go to leave Noah and laura go to leave she knows where she's got to go now yeah so they go to leave and when they open the door their grandpa's standing on the porch yeah uh, they don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy they've got no idea so she pulls the gun on him and he kind of looks at her and then looks up to the side next to her. Yeah. So she turns to see what he's looking at and Ranker's there and he grabs her and he beats knocks her, her out again knocks for the second again. time, I think. <laughs> yeah, he in does. This movie. Yeah. Um, so he's, she's then on the ground and he's, he's a, on a top of her. her with a Grandpa's knife. standing up on the porch watching all of this. Noah's in the doorway screaming again. This kid does so much screaming in this film. And she's he can't really overpower her because he's an old man so but she, then she starts singing the family song he's, he's about to cut her throat. yeah he is he's yeah. got a knife at her throat and she starts singing the family song which we heard earlier on when they were all dancing to it yeah uh, noah joins in and they're both singing now and suddenly the grandpa picks the gun up from the porch floor where it had fallen earlier and shoots Reinker in the head he does and there's a, at the same time or just before that it might be just after i don't know um there's a voiceover from Alex. Yeah. And as they're singing, he says, remember the curse or something like that. You know, those who try to keep families together are safe. Those that break them are cursed. Yeah. So the grandpa is not cursed. Or so like you say, he's fighting well, He's managed it. to fight it. To well, keep and that's, the I think that's why Reinke doesn't kill Laura because she's fairly innocent. She's, yeah. She didn't break this family apart. Right. Okay. So yeah, he shoots Riker in the head. Uh, they take the gun from him because they're still not 100% sure. And he says, I could never, hurt, never, never hurt you. I love you both so terribly much. And they all hug. They, the two kids and the grandpa hug. And they run to the monument. Um, and Ale I think it's Alex is still doing his voiceover at this point. Yeah. And he's like, and eventually he says, this is going to happen all over the world very soon. Um, and he picks them up in his speedboat. Maybe it was an island then, because he picks them up in a speedboat. Maybe. And yeah. could young people 
have warded off the fear old people have felt for them for years. He then says he couldn't... Th- th- it's Grandpa that's doing the voiceover at this the, point. Th- they all have a go. Because yes. Alex talks, Grandpa talks, and Laura talks yeah. all through this fin- final scene. Yeah. And he says, could old people have warded off the fear... Could young people have warded off the fear old people felt for them? I can't remember that far back, but there was a time. Mm. And then the film ends. What did you think to old people, Nick? Uh, it's the best film we've seen this season. Do you know what? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's great it's, it's really, really it's great really, it's, it's a it's, proper it's, horror film I think it's the best horror film we've seen for a long time I, it might be the best horror film we've ever seen like outright horror scary horror movie because yeah. it is a scary horror movie it's a zombie movie just done in a slightly different I d- way I do but think I do think it's it more has, than that it has a couple of issues yeah there uh, are a few issues in it I, I feel like the bit at the end with the you know, the whole, you know, curses don't affect people who don't break families apart. I'm not, and I don't know if it was a translation thing, but I kind of felt like you've changed the curse from what I thought it was at yeah. the start. Because you, your words at the start just say, it just affects all people. old people. Yeah, and it seems to be happening all over the world. And now, for somehow, she's safe because she tried to yeah keep the family. I just thought, like, oh, that feels like it's new information at this late. Yeah, age. it was It was a throwaway line that didn't need to be there. Yeah. And because it made me think that I... Because all the way through, we'd yeah. seen Grandpa trying to fight this curse and eventually beats it. And I, f- I think that's all I needed from it. I don't think I needed yeah. any explanation of... Yeah, he can beat the curse and he has beaten the curse. But look, it's it's so foreboding and creepy. It's, yeah. Before the shit starts going down, it's just like, I, I, I liked it because it was creepy. I liked the direction. I liked the atmosphere. And then... I mean, especially the high point for me is that is is that ten minutes where, oh, you know, this is about to get going, yeah. and then the the sort of attack in the bridal suite is yeah. just marvelous. It's great. It is. It's but really it's great. Disgusting. Yeah. The, the the attack in the bridal suite that kicks it off, and the attack in the hospital on those two nurses. Both of those two scenes. They're, they're where it the kicks highlight. Off, they are the highlight. They're the high point of this movie. Yeah, they really are. Um, for me. It's, it's, it's just, I think I'm a bit like you. My, my expectations were, it might be a bit of a tongue in cheek. Yeah. And it's not, it's, it's totally played for creepiness. Yeah. There's no laughs in this. There's, no. it's not played tongue in cheek. It's not played for laughs. It's, it's, it's a down, it's a proper horror movie. Yeah. And it is quite scary. <laughs> Without having jump scares in it. Yeah, there's no. There's I, don't not a, remember I don't think there's a, a single scare. jump scare. Maybe once when she when he's on the bed when she pulls pulls those curtains back. Yeah. But even that's not that much of a jump scare. This is just a foreboding. Because it relies on the presence of the old people. Yeah. And the 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 sort of creepiness of of them and 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 the atmosphere. Uh, and again, you know. There's some big themes here in sort of forgetting our old people and yeah, the, leaving them to that's the story die that, that's, and live yeah. the, you know, the last few years as forgotten people. I think that's the story this director's trying to tell, a writer-director's trying to tell, and I think he's so, done it very well. Yeah, they're pissed off. Yeah, they're, why would they not be pissed off? And it's just like, yeah, don't leave your old people behind because they're going to come and murder you if you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story he's trying to tell. It's like, don't abandon the old. They've got something. But look, look, and this is a gimmick. I'd be terrified if I walked out tonight and there's an old person in the street. It's a bit of a gimmick having that and then going, oh, all right, possession. Yeah, Yeah. fine. But it it is fine for this movie. It is, it works. There's no other way you can do it. I I was quite taken with this. I was as well. I was was like, this is much better than I was expecting. I was invested. I thought this would be one of those movies that's terrible that we can just laugh at all the way through and yeah. have a really good laugh on the episode just the, pulling it apart. Yeah. But what we've actually found is a really, really good little horror movie. And it's a little little hidden gem, yeah, I it thought. It is, I think you're right. I think uh, you're but right. going back to right, circling back to the start and, and saying, you know, it's a, it's a, a five, 5.0 on IMDb. I, I do feel that my perception of that is 
if there's anything like mine, people might think, oh, this this might be a cheeky little number. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> why, me- why is that guy like spewing gunk over that naked yeah. woman? Who I think people probably, like you said, possibly rape. I, I think, think you're right. I like- think you've, uh, you've gone in, people have gone in expecting a tongue in cheek, silly horror movie. And what they've actually got is actually a really creepy, spooky, scary horror movie. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, it's really it's good. It's really good. I was re- 5.0 is too low. Yeah. This is up there, late sixes for me. Yeah. That's, yeah. Gone past the cleanse on my stream table. Yeah. <laughs> We're having separate stream tables this year. <laughs> no, <time. yeah. laughs> not my fault you've ruined it after two weeks. I haven't ruined it. I haven't ruined this it. This is... What's the best thing about this film, Nick? I, I, it's, the, it's the presence and it's the performance of the guy who plays... Reinker. Reinker, I think. Yeah. He's, it's just... So creepy. All of the old people in this film are really creepy. Yeah. They are, <laughs> but he's yeah. The way it's the, just the way it's written and directed is really good. But yeah, the, that guy's performance is brilliant. Yeah. What would you change about it? Uh, I'd maybe want a couple more kills. I think, and I think this is probably budgetary issues. Uh, I, if we saw a bit more of the chaos in the village. Yeah. Maybe you know that scene where uh, Lucas and and Kim are sort of they they see one thing happen and yeah, there's and a little bit kind of, of straight car on fire on. and it's like I think if I'm I, I know it's a tough one because it will be because of the, the the budget available but if they've got to fight their way th- sort of back, back to the farmhouse yeah I, I think, think that's fair that just probably adds another layer to this yeah but it's that is quite a minor. I, I really like the subplot of Kim's jealousy taking over as well. I thought that was a really nice little... I, and that might be my other one is, did that switch flick too quickly? But She just went insane. Yeah, but like Literally, that, like straight like away, that, yeah. But she, you, you saw it coming. Yeah, there was there's a, a few, For a few the, scenes that yeah. she was in, you knew she was going to, and then yeah. she did. I have no issue with that. That's, that's a runtime thing. Yeah. Cool. Shall we talk stream table? Sure. I think we've kind of already done it. But, I think uh, we have. You know, we're only three films in. Uh, this is the best one we've seen out of the three of them. Yeah, it is. Done. Done. <laughs> it, it's a very much a bottom of the stream film. It's it's our it's right in our wheelhouse of what we want to see on this show because it is a little unknown German film that's actually really good. Yeah. Also, um, by far the best German film we've seen on this show. What was the other? Uh, the. What was it called? What was it about? The 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 woman who kept when time stopped pausing. It was only last season. Eight remains. Oh yeah, was God it eight yeah. remains. Yes, Is that what it was called. Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yes, God, yes, it's a hundred <laughs> times better than that. Jesus. Um, yeah, as much as I did enjoy the giver, I think this is more our type of thing. That's a better movie. I think this is. Yeah, I think it is. And I didn't think I'd say that this quickly. Sorry, sorry Jeff Bridges. <laughs> uh, three weeks. Three different films at the top of the stream. Yeah. Three very good films as well. Well, not very good, but three good films. Three not, good... I would... Three films... I have not... Not hated I've any. had issues with each film. Yeah. But I've not... I've enjoyed all three films. We've had a strong start to season eight, haven't we? Yeah. There's, there's been something to like in all three films. Agreed. Right. Should we pick next week's? Yeah. So we're going for another monster episode again. I've got even less time to edit this week, so it's going to be fun. What do you want from next week? Uh, drama. Drama. My phone's not working. There we go. I'm going to press the button. Are you ready? Yes. It has picked a movie called Double World. Any ideas? No, none whatsoever. No, nor me. Do you want to know? Yeah, I'd love to. It is a Chinese movie. Okay. Heading over to China. Uh, according to IMDb, it is an action adventure fantasy movie. Oh, from 2020. Okay. Do you, want the con- do you want the synopsis? Yeah, I'd love to have that from you. In <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will give it to you now. <laughs> in a fictional universe, in a fictional universe comprising ten nations, seeing the neighboring country become more and more powerful, a warlord organizes a competition to reveal the best warrior. Hearing the news, Dong Yilong. A valiant young villager decides to take up the challenge despite the doubts of his village, so begins his journey. Oh, okay. It's all about Dong Yilong. 
Chinese fantasy movie, Nick. What do you reckon? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm game. Me too. I'm game. Cool. I mean, look, we... Uh, one of my favourite movies we've ever done on this show was a Chinese movie. Go on. Uh, which was <laughs> the Scissors, Paper, Rock movie. Yes, Animal World. Animal World. <laughs> and this is Double World. This is Double World. No animals, <laughs> but double the fun. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do that one, shall we? Yeah. Cool. Go out and watch Double World. And in the meantime, check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. Our username is at B-O-T-S underscore podcast on all three of those. If you want to drop us an email, our email address is bottom of the stream at gmail.com and our website is bottom of the stream.com. On the website, you will find every episode we've ever recorded, all the stream tables, loads of other cool stuff, and you can even get some merch if you want to buy a bottom of the stream. Dartboard. Dartboard. Why not? With our faces on. Sure. Why not? <laughs> so yeah do all of that and then head over to patreon patreon.com slash bottom of the stream on there for a couple of quid every month you will get early access to episodes you'll get bonus episodes you'll get a newsletter that nick writes every month and you will get a wild card if you come in at the top level which means you can pick the film that we watch the following week and there's also a bit of a competition around that so wild cards are back in play everybody with three episodes in nobody's played one yet yeah get playing your wild cards your patreons then when you've done all of that head into discord in the Discord, we have wonderful chats with wonderful people. There's loads of cool stuff going on. We've got a watch long that would have happened by now because we're definitely doing it this time. Yep. We've cancelled it like four times, but we're definitely going to do that. Um, we do watch alongs. We do games. We do quizzes. We do all sorts of cool stuff. And there's loads of people who just will talk to you about films and movies and TVs. Just make friends. Just make friends. Come into the Discord and make some friends. The Discord link will be on the bottom of the show notes. If you can spare a few minutes, please consider leaving us a rating or and a review anywhere you can review and or rate podcasts. It really helps us. It helps get our little show in front of more eyes and therefore in more ears. Uh, and that's all we want to do. Build a nice little community. Yep. Spread the word. More people need to know about old people. They do. Um, more old people need to know about Bottom of the Stream. <laughs> We're on Spotify, Podchaser, Apple Podcasts, uh, Pandora, iHeartRadio, uh, Anywhere you can get podcasts. Literally anywhere you can get podcasts. And if we're not on where you can get podcasts, let us know and we'll get on there. Yeah. We're keen to get on. We are keen to get on as many podcast apps as we can. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep popping up, don't they? Yeah. There's, I had, another, had an email from one the other day, the new one. It's like, claim your show now. I'm like, I seem to be doing this every week at the minute. <laughs> yeah. There's thousands of podcast apps. So yeah. Check cool. us out on any of them. Good. And uh, we'll be back next week for The Wave on Monday. And, <laughs> and then... the movie show on Thursday. Nick's stealing my lines here. <laughs> so yeah, come and listen to both of them. Because uh, next Thursday we are going to talk about Double World. Cheers. Bye.